this Sunday, we'll be getting the horror show at Extreme Rules at name subject to change at gmail.com. Pay-per-view. WWE should really change the name of that pay-per-view. It's a mouthful to say. So with that out of the way, let's see what my predictions for the show are. Alright, so the first match that we're going to be taking a look at is Apollo Crews taking on MVP, the self-proclaimed United States Champion, versus the real United States Champion. Um, for this match, I think, this is sort of an unpopular opinion, I think that MVP will take the win here. Um, he brought us the new redesigned United States Championship, and I think he'll take both championships and then properly retire the old one. Um, he'll probably lose it back to Apollo Crews, maybe on a Raw in sometime in the future. And then this will set up Bobby Lashley versus MVP, or maybe Bobby Lashley versus Apollo Crews for SummerSlam. Okay, so the next match that we have is Bailey taking on. Nikki Cross for the SmackDown Women's Championship. I'm going to keep this one really short. I don't think there's anyone on Earth who thinks that Nikki Cross will be walking away with a championship. I'm saying definitely that Bailey, maybe with the help of Sasha Banks, will retain the championship. Okay, so the next match that we have is Seth Rollins versus Rey Mysterio. This is an eye for an eye match. Um, this is probably where the horror show got its name. Uh, I believe this will be a very brutal match, even though it's going to be using CGI. And I feel like it's probably going to leave a lot of people disappointed about how bad the CGI will be. Because if you've seen all the bad CGI in the entrances and stuff. So, not really a match that I'm looking forward to. I'll be happy to see this feud end. Um, there's been talks that Rey Mysterio could possibly head to AEW. He's wrestling without a contract right now. So I think maybe Dominic turning, turning heel and uh, helping Seth Rollins win would be a great way to write Rey Mysterio off TV so he can just go join another promotion. And yeah, uh, Seth Rollins picking up the win here. Alright, so this match has a lot surrounding it, uh, controversy-wise. Um, it's, it's been faced with a lot of backlash for using very real problems that Jeff Hardy has. Um, and people really do not like this. So I think this is probably going to serve as the end of this feud, I hope. Uh, Jeff Hardy picks up the victory and we can end the feud between Sheamus and Jeff Hardy. So yeah, Jeff Hardy is walking away with the victory. Dolph Ziggler versus Drew McIntyre for the WWE Championship. And Dolph Ziggler can pick the stipulation. I feel like this, a lot of people actually feel like this is just a filler feud um, so that Drew McIntyre can find more worthy opponents. Uh, this is just temporary. I don't think this is actually temporary. I feel like it, I feel like the stipulation is going to be something stupid like Drew McIntyre can't use his claymore or, you know, something stupid like that. Maybe he has to tie his hand around his back or something. Um, but actually, I think it's going to be something like that, but s some outside interference is going to happen. And Dolph Ziggler is going to win the championship. I know what you're thinking, that's crazy. That's probably not even going to happen. I don't even think it's going to happen. But what's going to happen is I think that if you remember, Otis won the Money in the Bank contract at uh, Money in the Bank. And I think this will be the perfect opportunity, you know, his past with Dolph Ziggler, to win the WWE Championship and actually put that Money in the Bank to use. He hasn't even been on TV. So yeah, I think that Dolph Ziggler wins and then Otis wins the championship. Okay, so next we have Asuka versus Sasha Banks for the Raw Women's Championship. Um, there's no doubt in my mind that Asuka will not be losing her championship. Um, but Sasha needs to look strong in this match. And I also think that... Uh, Bailey is going to interfere and turn on Sasha Banks because we know ever since they won the tag team championships 
Um, they're building towards a match at SummerSlam between Banks and Bailey. This is a match that ever since they were called up to the main roster, we wanted to see. And I think SummerSlam is a perfect place to do it and um, put the SmackDown Women's Championship on the line. And I think it'll be a pretty good match. Before we get to what I think the main event of the show will be, I'm going to talk about two matches that haven't been announced for the show yet, but I definitely think WWE are going to make happen at the show. Um, I'm not really sure who it's going to be, but AJ Styles um, is going to defend his Intercontinental Championship. It would be a bad decision not to have him defend it because of all the time they spent you know, building up the title, making it seem like it's prestigious, and then just not having him defend it at the next pay-per-view. That's just a bad decision. And then, uh, I know they've been setting it up. There's going to be a tables match for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships between Cesaro and Shinsuke Nakamura against the Tag Team Champions, The New Day. Everyone is tired of The New Day being champions, and I think... You know, it will be really good for Cesaro and Shinsuke Nakamura to hold the tag team belts. So I think that Cesaro and Shinsuke Nakamura will be walking away with the championships. This is what I think will be the main event of the evening, and this is definitely my most anticipated match. Uh, it's a shame that it's not for the Universal Championship, but I think they're saving that match for SummerSlam. Um... I've been dying to see Bray Wyatt's old character resurrected, I guess you could say. I really wanted him to come back, um, and I definitely think he should get the Universal Championship back after the disservice they did. Putting the belt on Goldberg, that was just really dumb. Oh, man, I really still hate that they did that. So, um, pretty sure Bray Wyatt will walk away with the victory. And this will set up a match between maybe The Fiend and Braun Strowman at SummerSlam for the championship. Well guys, there you have it. Those are my predictions for the horror show at Extreme Rules. If you agree with me or you disagree with me, please leave a comment down below. Make sure to like the video and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.